Okay, hello you guys, what is up? Welcome and or welcome back to my channel. So if you're new here, hello, my name is Kylie. Pretty much post all things lifestyle, fitness, I literally just share my life with you. So today I'm gonna be showing you guys a Gymshark try-on haul and kind of like a little review. This is not sponsored or anything. I just genuinely, I don't know. I like to try out different activewear companies and then show you guys like what I think of them, give you guys my honest review. So getting into this, um, like I said, everything is from Gymshark. It's not a specific collection. I just kind of picked up random little pieces. So without further ado, let's get into it. I decided I'm gonna try the try on haul by doing it like just like in the mirror. Um, so first up we have this set. I kind of, I don't know. I was like skeptical at first. I saw a lot of mixed reviews on these leggings because they have this like, I don't know. You can see it like oddly like swoops down, but I kind of dig it. Um, it definitely makes my torso look a lot longer. I have a pretty short torso, but I just feel like it really elongates it. Um, all leggings, literally, regardless of the brand, I just have, like, I don't know, I hold a lot of fat here on my side, so they just, like, kind of squeeze me. And I have more of, like, a box shape. But this is how this is looking on me. Super minimal branding. You can kind of see slightly here. It does have, like, these little, um, kind of, like, little hole design things on the side. I do love this color so these are the leggings I got a size medium and everything and then as for the sports bra this is the matching sports bra to this I do really like it it is super simple and then there is just the little Gymshark logo on the back it's an open back type concept like a open racer back type vibe um this I wore this for upper body day and honestly it's perfect because like if you're doing shoulders or anything like you can see your pump but then if you're doing back like because it's so open back there you can really see everything so this is the first fit I absolutely love it and I will be keeping it um I do want to point out one thing though I did notice like I said I used to be a Gymshark fanatic you guys can go back and watch my old video and I show like my whole entire Gymshark haul like I had, I knew every freaking like collection in different colorways, like by name, I was obsessed. And then I just kind of like weaned off. Um, but their stuff has definitely gotten more pricey. Granted, everything has, but I did notice that. I felt like their like base price range for leggings used to be like $45, $50. And I feel like now it's more so in the like $60 range at the ones I was looking at. Um, so just keep that in mind. I think it's a great, it's still like, affordable but definitely not like the most affordable if that makes sense but it is really really good quality and I do love these so outfit number one approved from me okay you guys next up we have this so the leggings are the exact same um just literally in black so I always love I absolutely just love an all black fit like I feel like an absolute ninja in this and then this is the sports bra is from a different collection here you can kind of see um, it's a little tricky with the lighting right now but it does have like the animal print on there I feel like I see this sports bra all over Instagram specifically like whenever I see this collection I think of Whitney Simmons and I feel like she's worn this sports bra a good amount in her video so I was like, okay, I want to give it a shot. Um, I They've had around, like, the Adapt range. Like, Adapt Camo was, like, the OG. And I used to have so many pieces from that. And I always loved it. And they've honestly just continued to improve it. This does feel, like, really nice. I feel like this would be a great sports bra if I'm doing, like, a hit workout. Um, yeah, I like how just, like, high it hits. I like that I don't have, like, a ton of, like, the armpit flub. Like, obviously, if you, like, lift it up, you're going to have some... But I just always, I don't know, I always adjust that. So I do really, really like this fourth row. Once again, the branding is pretty minimal, just small there. And then the back is kind of, my tag's kind of like sticking up there. I need to cut that off. But the back looks like this. Um, there's kind of a lot going on, yet also it's not like crazy strappy and they're not thin straps so it's not like digging in anywhere i don't know i really really like this um and i think this would yeah like i said just be great for like a little hit workout so super simple outfit once again and i do really like these the more and more i wear their leggings i realize how much like i miss them so I do love this, um, and I'll definitely be keeping this whole outfit as well. Okay, guys, these next things, it's a pair of bottoms. I still have on the same top, but 
I'm just gonna tell you now, these will be getting returned. I absolutely hate these. So, these shorts, I feel like I had seen a good amount of influencers. I feel like it's specifically like Kylie Ross is who I'm thinking of. I kept seeing her wear these and I was like, okay, like I need to try these for myself. They have like built-in spandex underneath. Um, I thought these were gonna be similar, especially based on the design, like the Vital Seamless. Um, you can kind of see they have like those little, I don't know, dots in them. However, I don't know. They don't feel quite like the Vital Seamless. These dig in. You can see my thighs right here. It's literally like cutting it off. Um, and then these shorts, they're just like not flattering. I don't like that these have a front seam there. And I think they just like sit really funny. And then right now, I have the waistband rolled. If you guys have a short torso, these are not it. Let me... Let me show you guys what these look like unrolled. I literally look like a muffin oozing out of life. Are you kidding me? Are you literally kidding me right now? Yeah, no, these are an absolute no. I will be returning these in the butt. Like, granted, they're like more like running shorts, but it's just, guys, these aren't it. These are not flattering whatsoever. So these bad boys will definitely be getting returned. Okay guys, so, this is all the pieces that I purchased. I will go ahead and put the name of every collection up here along with it. And then you guys can screenshot if you want any of these pieces. And I will have everything linked below so you guys can check it out on there. And then I'll also put up here the total of this order. So it's definitely more on the costly side, I'd say. Um, they're not super like affordable, but they're also not like super luxury cost you know um they're just they're in that middle range so let me show you though more in depth on these fabrics so the waistband of these um it is that like this is really thick of the waistband it's like double paneled it also has that ribbing and then here it just has more like loose thin shorts and then those spandex underneath these just these shorts just aren't my cup of tea um, the sports roll though, I do love this. You guys can see the design a lot better. Um, and then the bottom here, you can see it kind of goes into more of like that ribbing. In the back, you can see it has really nice details and these do have removable pads. Um, and then this sports roll, this color, it's showing really true to color on camera right now. Um, it's so pretty and it does have this like design there that kind of helps with like give a more like perky boob look. I can't remember if these has pads. Okay, yeah, this did have pads in them. However, I took them out. I just didn't like the look. I could see the outline. And then you can also see on the back here, um, the logo. <laughs> it's also kind of like not centered correctly. That's a little annoying. So there is that. Um, and then as for the leggings, these are those little like holes I was kind of talking about. It's a little hard to see. Let's see perhaps if you can see them better on the blue. Okay, yeah, so they have these little like holes on them all throughout different areas. And then something I did want to point out. So they do have that faux seam. It's not a real seam on the butt, but it's just like the fake one on there, which helps give a more like flattering look. And then it kind of does that curve down. Once again, the waistband is double paneled and it's kind of cool to see the different designs on here. Um, it like, I don't know. It's interesting, the different structure. Like, it's not all the same. Um, they have, like, this one, and you can see here, it starts the second one, and then a third one right there. So, that's pretty interesting. No front seam. And then, this is a very small logo on there, which I do like that. I like super minimal logo. <laughs> so, that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed that little try-on haul and review. Um, I know it wasn't too much, but I hope that give you guys kind of like a little bit of a gist on Gymshark. If you guys do want to see more reviews, try-ons, go ahead, stick around, subscribe. Um, I do have a lot of other ones coming. Like, I already have some for, like, my past Gymshark try-on haul. If you guys are interested in that, it has a lot more pieces. You can go ahead and go to that video. I have, like, an Arula try-on haul. Um, I'm about to upload a Navigation try-on haul. I already have a Halara try-on haul. And I'm going to be uploading another Halara one and an Amazon activewear haul. So... I definitely do a lot of activewear hauls. If you guys are into that, go ahead, stick around, subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this. And if you did, please make sure to like the video and comment if you guys have any questions. But without further ado, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love you and I will talk to you in the next one.